Hello again. Durham University in the north of England is worried that those studying mathematics for degrees there are not being taught a multicultural enough syllabus. In the description to this video I give a link to a news item which explains this. Teaching staff are being urged to be more inclusive and ensure maths can be used to aid attempts to secure equality. Uh, is that really what the purpose of mathematics is? More research needed about that idea, I think. They must consider the cultural origins of the mathematical concepts, focuses and notations we most commonly use. Well, that won't take long because it nearly all comes from white European men. Of course, the form of the numbers is a combination of Indian and Arabic characters, and the ancient Egyptians knew a thing or two about arithmetic, as did the Chinese. But mathematics as we know it is a creation of white civilization. Without this, we might have enough arithmetic to use for practical purposes in day-to-day -day life, but we wouldn't have things like calculus or non-Euclidean geometry. Even the basic arithmetical signs we use, such as those for plus and minus or multiplying, were devised by Europeans in the late 15th century, as was the equals sign a century later. It's true that Arab mathematicians were at work in the Middle Ages and that the very word algebra is Arabic, but none of the higher concepts we use arose anywhere other than Europe. This doesn't mean, of course, that there haven't been very good Indian and Chinese mathematicians. There have, but they use the European conventions and notation to carry out their work because there's no substitute for the equal sign or plus and minus. Staff are being told that the question of whether we have allowed Western mathematicians to dominate in our discipline is no less relevant than whether we have allowed Western authors to dominate the field of literature. It may even be more important, if only because mathematics is more central to the advancement of science and its literature. They are told to ask themselves if they are teaching predominantly white and or male figures when they discuss the history of mathematics. If the mathematicians they teach are almost entirely or even completely white and or male, ask yourself why this is. Well, I can tell them why this is, but I don't think that the idiots who wrote this stuff would like the answer. It's very simple. The mathematicians are white males because they are the people who came up with all the important ideas in mathematics. Leibniz and Isaac Newton invented calculus in the 17th century and they were both white. Nobody in Africa, Asia or, or Australia invented calculus and so when that subject is covered it means learning about white males. Transfinite numbers? Well that would be Gail Cantor. Euler, many others, all white males. There has been the odd woman, Hypatia, for example, a Greek living in Egypt in the 4th century, but these are very few and far between. Personally, I have a suspicion that the predominance of white men in higher mathematics tells us something about the relative, in relative intelligence and ability to use abstract thought which exists between different ethnic groups. But I don't think that's what the decolonizers at Durham University want to hear.